videos. Uh, we join, you join me as we are driving down the M74. Um, we just delivered in Bathgate and we've just come down and I thought I'd start this video with that accident or it must have just happened. Um, hope all is okay in there and um, they look like they were okay so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah we're just coming off at Lark Hall and um, we're off to load. Uh, we basically got to drop the trailer in there and then from that we basically got to um, park up for a nine hours off because we've just done a night shift hence why I've started this new week new video now rather than last night um, so we'll basically be delivering um, in France tomorrow morning so we're gonna have nine hours off today the trailer will get loaded once the trailer's loaded, go drive down to Dover, uh, well, Folkestone te technically. Uh, we'll get the train from Folkestone um, on the Eurotunnel over to France. Then we've got to clear customs in France and deliver in France and get the trailer washed all within a 15 hour shift. So it's going to be a bit of a push from like Scotland all the way down over to France. But, um, yeah, I reckon we'll do it. I reckon we'll smash it. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. But I hope everyone's all good and I hope everyone's enjoyed all the other videos um, that have been posted this weekend. Uh, there should be another one up this morning, which I'm just going to finish, which would have been... It's pointless me telling you all this because you would have seen them anyway. But I've just got to sort out the last bit on one of them. I need to change some a uh, bit on the video on the editing and then I should be able to post it being Sunday morning so that'll be good um, and then this one will probably come out end of the week so yeah we'll just see how it goes um, probably won't be able to get a lot of footage due to obviously it all being night work but we're going to be parked up by nine o'clock so I'll probably start at six tonight so there's potential that we'll in two miles at nice. junction eight uh, take the a71 exit to kilmarnock edinburgh sat nav shouting at us now but yeah um hopefully it'll be good so what i'll do is i'll leave you guys on there and um i shall catch you guys once i've had some rest see you later good evening all um as i said earlier on um this is obviously a new week and a new video um, so someone's commented I was just reading through earlier on when I was on my 45 minute break um, about the comments and stuff so that V8 logo uh, one of the comments was that uh, it's gonna hurt my eyes and stuff like that um, it's not actually as bright as it looks um, it's just obviously the angle and where the camera is where I'm sat, I can't actually see it. Like I can only see like the bottom quarter of it. Um, so it's not so bad. The camera obviously picks it up a lot worse than it looks. Um, but yeah, like, like the red lights in here are actually quite, I find it easier to drive with the red lights to be fair. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go through everyone's comments um, and hopefully get back to everyone. Um, if I haven't got back to you, just feel free to drop another comment on another video and uh, I'll try my best because I, I do try and look for them but sometimes I just miss them um, but yeah so on this little video we're gonna do we are traveling from Scotland um, as yesterday obviously it's all night shifts like I said so and it's nothing too exciting but as people seem to be commenting they're not really bothered about it being dramatically exciting or not and um, it's more about the journey so i thought i'd better jump on and keep you guys updated then rather than uh, keeping you in the dark like it is dark outside but um yeah so we're we're making our way down uh, we're on the a1 at the moment um we've basically done about four hours and 20 minutes of driving and then we had a 45 minute break treated myself to a Burger King which I regretted instantly it was like 15 pounds for a um I had the Angus Steakhouse burger um with 
six chili cheese bites and a drink and that and yeah 15 pound and eight here it cost and it just it wasn't that great to be honest um i never try i try not i try to stay out of the services but the issue is, is when you go into the services uh, to go to the toilet when you've just parked up after driving for four and a half hours um and i find it difficult to refrain from buying food sometimes i just give in because i'm like oh i got a cook in the lorry and i'm like oh i just can't be bothered so i um spent 15 quid on food and now i regret it because it wasn't that great but um just one of them like you could have spent 15 quid and i could have got six microwave meals for the week uh even like the tesco's finest ones or even that like could have got a few of them um and they're pretty good to be fair they're like some of the Tesco finest ones uh, like a chow mein the other day and that was pretty good um, but I've got chicken breast in here that I need to cook up so that will go in the um, air fryer and a chicken in a bag sort of thing I don't know how we've ended up on this topic but um, I blame someone else but obviously I'm the only one here so um, yeah so that's dinner and that sorted for tonight it's a bit of a weird one we started at four o'clock this afternoon um, and we've got a hell of a drive to do um, We've driven so far, like I say, we've gone for just over five hours. So we've been doing five hours and 15 minutes so far. Um, we need to do, we'll be doing a 10 hour drive today. So we're basically going from um, Lark, Lark Hill, or Lark Hall, I think it's called. I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll, I'll remember later on. Uh, all the way down to Folkestone um to the train so we'll be jumping on the train over to france still in the tonight shift uh so scotland to Folkestone is obviously long enough as it is that's nine hours well around nine hours um of driving and then we'll be getting the train over and then we don't have to do customs at civep at the train which is pretty decent but we've got to do it in i think the place i'm going to is called Boulogne. It's, it's in France. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. There's a bit more to it as well. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, so that's where I'm going. Um, and they have customs there as well, like opposite the delivery place. So I've got to check that out as well and try and work that out. Uh, if I can make it within a 10 hour drive. If not, I'll be ringing someone and uh, telling them that that'll be, that's the case because Obviously, we won't be going over the hours just to get it delivered. Uh, supposedly, uh, the shunter driver for the place we're delivering to may come out to wherever I'm parked and take the trailer and go and um, clear it of customs and deliver it. So that'll be interesting to see if that happens. Uh, but I won't be running over my hours to deliver at the end of the day. We've got a fair way anyway uh, in one drive at one day. It's not well, not worth it. It's illegal, so it's not worth doing. Um, people have obviously done it in the past, and people will continue to do it in the future. But the way I see it is, like, no one benefits from me. Like, I'm the only one that gets punished in the end, um, so it's not worth it. So I'll, I'll do what I can do, and I'll do it to my best. Uh, so we'll, you guys and me will see what happens later on um but yeah so basically we'll basically just head down there i need to get some fuel in the uk first and then i need to get some ad blue in france when we get off of the train so we've still got a few other bits and bobs to do um we're due at the train at 1 40 in the morning so we've still got about three hours to go because it's just coming up 10 40 now so it's a fair old long shift it's a bit of a weird one because obviously it's like four o'clock in the afternoon we should be off the train by about four o'clock in the morning so that's going to be 12 hours but that will be five o'clock french time so we're only going to have till um about i think it's about seven o'clock if i'm doing my maths right um anyway so that'll be eight o'clock french time um so like i say we'll just see how we go um if we can do it we can do it if we can't we can't but yeah um 
I'm just trying to think back to if there was any other comments that I thought I'd just quickly reply to off the top of my head. Um, someone mentioned about the boats, uh, why I don't mention the names. Completely honest, I don't know why I don't mention the names. Some of them I can't pronounce because obviously, um, as you guys might be aware, I'm not the best at English or anything. Um, so, uh, yeah, some of the words or pronunciations I can't get correct. So I just sort of skim over it and don't uh, avoid it. Uh, in the future, I will try, um, just so people do know. Uh, I know I was on the Normandy boat the other day uh, when we went from Portsmouth to Cannes. Um, and then there's the freighter boat, the, the ex freighter boat, which is like the Quentin Teen or something. Or, and I can't, I can't quite remember. I'd probably be able to pronounce that better if I actually was reading it in front of me. Um, so we've got that one. And then obviously they've got uh, loads of different ones on the Dover to Calais, Calais to Dover. Um, they've got like the, the new Pioneer boat. Um, I think there's a few other ones for p and uh, I don't really know many of them because I haven't done any of them. Um, but you've got Mount St. Michael, I think, is one of them on Brittany Ferries that does the Sherbourg crossing, I think, potentially. Um, but yeah, there's a few boats, there's a few other things that are obviously just things that I just skim over and I don't really think about. But yeah, everyone seems to be still enjoying them, so we'll still be cracking on, we'll still be making them. And um, yeah, I just decided to film everything. Like, at first, I was just sort of filming what I thought was interesting, but then now, like, we can have a chat for nine minutes, like I've just done. Um, and if people are enjoying it, and if people aren't enjoying it, we'll skip to the next bit. And by the time you skip to the next bit, we'll either be at the train or at the fuel station. We'll be doing something. Um, so there might be something interesting you guys will see. Um, also, there might not be. But if you don't like this video, wait for the next one or go and watch a different one. Uh, like, appreciate you being here. And I appreciate everyone who's subscribed and likes and comments. The comments are the best bit because I love the feedback and I love actually seeing that people aren't just clicking on the video by accident, giving me a view. And then like people are obviously watching it to be able to know that obviously what's happened and they're interested and that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's a good crack. I'm enjoying it and um, I hope I can carry it on a bit longer. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave you to it because that's been 10 minutes of me rambling on. Um, I just hope the mic works or else I wasted 10 minutes of my life. But yeah, I shall um, catch you guys, well, probably at the train. So I'll see you shortly. So guys, we have finally made it to the train. Um, it's been an absolute nightmare. The M2 was closed, uh, the M20 was closed. Um, ended up going on the diversion and then going for a jolly across country because I couldn't be bothered to go all the way down to Dover. Um, I'm just going to do the registry. No dangerous goods. Loaded. Do you have French customs? Yes. Are you refrigerated? Yes. No animal facts. One person validate. Approve. I'm just going to wait for the ticket to print off. There we are. We are B, whatever that means on the ticket thing. I can't remember because. I haven't been on the train for a long time. But anyway, so first of all, if you've not done this, if you've not watched any of my older videos, um, the train booth, the first one is the ticket. Um, and that's where you put your reg in, but it all, I have to type mine in every time because it always um, puts a I instead of a one in the GT19. Uh, we're looking fluid on the sign, it says, um, with free departures, which is good because that will hopefully make us catch up some time that we've missed. Um, the next booth is passport control. 
Um, so we will see how that goes. Uh, that should be nice and simple. We should just hand it over to a British person and they'll just um, swipe it and then that'll be that. Um, and then GMR MRN, which I need to dig out of the folder. So I'll have to do that in a second. Um, I'm a bit worried about my bottom lights because I forgot about how low the train is. So we might end up putting them, well, I might have put them on too low. So I might end up hitting them on the train. But we'll have to see how it goes. All right, this is passport control. Hello, you all right? Thank you very much. Yeah, that window shut, it's freezing. Right, so that's passport done. Um, I've managed to get the GMR out. I don't know if I've got the MRN or not either. That's the GMR. Um, it's very quiet in here, so we haven't really got time to dig stuff out, which is annoying. Do, 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 do. What else have we got? MRN. That'll do. Two of those. Right, let's see if these guys, guys and girls, shall I say? We're having a chat, chatting away. It's freezing cold. So I'll just get on with it. Ooh. Hello, you all right? Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Wonderful. Oh, mate, what are you carrying? Uh, fish. Fish? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Cheers, mate, Sam. Right then, so that's the GMR and the MRN scanned. I will show you those guys um, the paperwork once we are in the lanes. Um, just thought it's all a bit sudden at the moment, so we won't be doing that. We wonder if we will end up in... Where are we? There's no one in this booth. There's never anyone in this booth. Don't think so. Let's slow down just Case. Note the barrier is open. Is it going to be into the scanner? Yes, because that's always the way when you're in a rush. And there's a queue. Lovely. So we're into the sheds, um, which is annoying. And by the looks of it, there's a queue. Oh, actually, we might not be in. No, we are in the sheds. Oh, they're letting us go first as well. Oh, deal. I wonder if they're in... No, they're coming back out of the sheds, aren't they? No, they're going in. He's waving us across. We got first in there for the shed, which is nice of them. I think it's because it says on the ticket that we have... It says at the top of our ticket, it says first. I don't know if that means that like we're first priority because 
we're on the account of the FDS, which obviously probably shipped through here a million times. So we'll see what happens. These guys are staring at me. But I won't be able to film once we go in this room. So we will just pull in there. This is a big x-ray machine. So guys, that is us done. Lovely, nice lady having a chat. Um, makes a change, but can't complain with that. In and out. Oh, there was a, was he behind me? Oh, I don't know, there was a guy behind me. Um, not sure whether he was one of the ones from outside. But um, yeah, we got first in there over the two lads outside. Um, and she even scanned me without bringing those two in. So that's an experience. Um, I don't really know what that's about. But yeah, she was saying that she travels to Scotland. Like I said, we just come down from Scotland. It's a long way uh, in a one shift to do all the way to France as well. And she was like, have you got far to go? And I said, only like an hour or so. But I said, I don't think I'm going to make it because I've literally got an hour and one minute. So. See if the French are open today. Let's have a look. They're never here. Like, if they're here, I'll be extremely shocked. I'm going to go with a no on that one. Oh, that's it then. <laughs> French aren't in, so you don't get your passport stamped. So um, yeah, freebie. And then we go to this guy here, who will tell us what lane we're gonna be in. Is he gonna stick out the window or is he just gonna make me slow down? It's gonna make me stop. And we got a one free. Where is one free? Oh, look at that, he's got two arrows on. 13 over here. Let's go and have a look. Do, 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 do. Number one and number three. Oh, that was a bit tight. Let's slow down a little bit here for this. So I reckon we do not want to take my mirror off. Um, so we'll just squeeze through here. I don't know why this guy is right on the white line. Oh, we're not on that anyway, so there's no rush to get to the front. I thought we were moving because I thought there was a green light, but it's not the end of the world. So hopefully that won't be too long of a wait because we're pretty much at the front. Um, those guys are moving next to us. So obviously it's not too bad of a rush. If that guy's awake or not. We have to go and knock on his door for him. Sometimes, like people, we knock on people's doors if they're not awake um, to help out. Looks like me, boys, on the go. Yeah, he's just turned his lights on. Um, so we'll see if he moves forwards. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. Let's get these GMRs and that and show you these. Hopefully, the mic doesn't play up when we take it off. Right, so I can easily show you these because normally I don't have the printed copies, so I can't actually show you. Right, so first of all, we have a MRN, which is literally this number here, which shows the trailer number, and then you get an LRN, and then you get an MRN. So they just scan this barcode here. Um, second of all, you have a GMR, which is another barcode that is scanned. And then you've got your registration number and where you're traveling to. Uh, you see, you get that one scanned. Get that top one scanned there. 
Um, and then I'm just not showing the rest of it because I don't want to get in trouble if there's anything on there that shouldn't be shown. Um, and then, yeah, so that guy, this guy hasn't got any lights on. Uh, how you even do that? I suppose that must be an Iveco thing. Has he got any on the trailer? Is that? No, he's got nothing on. You can't do that with a scanner yeah? because it just all the lights just come on automatically. But um, yeah, that's that all on and sorted. So now we'll just wait in this lane um, and see how long it takes to get us on the train. It's annoying because that wouldn't have been a full train. There was only about seven lorries. So like we could just nip into that lane and probably get in trouble. But yeah, so I will leave you guys there for now. I'm going to sit here and wonder how I'm going to make it all the way to my delivery uh, in my 10 hour shift. Um, and for that, I shall catch you guys when we're boarding the train. Um, we did, I'll tell you what we did, literally four minutes and we're off again. Let's turn these lights off. Um, just like that, we're off. We definitely can't complain with that because that makes up for all the time that we lost earlier on. Um, I wonder if we're on the back of that train that just went or not so you can't really go wrong here if you've again never done it um, because you just follow all the green lines um, and the green arrows and numbers um, let's do some flashing down the tunnel get the V8 up the hill I don't know if you'll ever be able to hear it but anyway um, the window because it's cold we're gonna get on the train now um which is decent nice and quick uh, i haven't done this in a long time so it might be interesting at least it's not raining at least it's dry um and you look in here for you've got a lot of red arrows again can't really go wrong green flashing arrow to so this next left one fourth one in um so we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna be getting on the train that is on our left hand side so the best way to do this is they put a cone down on the left and the best way is to get try and get your trailer wheels to literally run with the left but do not drop your front left wheel off of the train because it will be a nightmare to try and get it all back over onto the train lots of noises so where they put that cone there, you want to bring it straight over. Morning, mate. Hello mate, alright? Yeah, good, good. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Just like that, we're on. Now we've just got to try not to hit any of the lights or the steps or anything like that as we go down. Um, it's nice and tight, as always. I always just take it steady. I'm not um, in a rush like everyone else can wait. I don't care. I'd rather get there when I get there and uh, at least I haven't damaged any stuff. So. We're on for a win there. Um, I try not to talk too much, even though I am talking. But I'm doing like seven uh, seven kilometers an hour, so we're doing like less than five miles per hour. It's one of those like in a second you could hit the fuel tank, the side skirt, the like the bumpers, anything if you were just slightly distracted. So it's not worth the hassle right let's stop just make sure you get as far in the cabin as possible right stop out there right we shall see you on the train thing we are on the train now um it's very very busy on here tonight um but i managed to get a seat in that all tucked in nicely uh for the 45 minutes let's see how it goes and just like that we are back in france 
Um, this was the only bit of recording I actually did because obviously it was so late and I was just trying to get to my delivery and I was running low on time. Uh, we managed to get the delivery off um, and it was a bit stressful, but we sorted it. So then jump till tomorrow. I always forget, like, if you've watched any of my other videos, I always say that, like, this is the reason why you do European driving to drive down the roads like this. Um, because, like, once you get off, like, you could drive, like, all the way to Italy just like dual carriageways. But, like, once you get off and you do something like this, it's just, like, so nice and so relaxing. Um, to just trundle through the countryside. The roads, like, they're not full of potholes, they're a bit bouncy every now and then, um, but nothing major, so that's pretty cool. Um, we are going right here. Uh, hopefully we're not going back on the dual territory. Um, I've looked at it briefly, and it's basically, I've driven one of the roads that we're gonna go on before, so I was like, oh, we'll go that way. Because it was 15 seconds longer to go this way than it was to drive up to Lille and then sit in the traffic. And I was like, I don't really want to sit in traffic. I was like, it'd be much nicer to just go on a little bit of a jolly. And uh, obviously there's a few Netherlands lorries that have chosen this route as well, but uh, most people obviously took the main road. Um, it was something like 96 kilometers on the main road or 70 kilometers on this road. So it makes a difference, obviously, on that road, just sat at a constant speed. So if you were heavy, oh, that's a nice truck. Um, if you were sat at a constant speed, then obviously that might make a difference. But uh, obviously being light and that, it doesn't really make that much difference in the long run. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go for a few towns and that. Love this part of the country, because you see, well, like this part of like Belgium, like France area, because you see so many cool lorries. Um, the Michelin first stop tire garage there. People riding around on electric scooters and stuff as well, which is always exciting. But yeah, people just seem to park wherever they want around here. Like there's this little bit of road on the right here. And I'm not sure if it's a lane or it's parking. I don't know, but look, you can see that there's two people parked here. So, I don't know, it might be that that's the idea, you, you can park there, there's a trailer drop there. Um, but they obviously care about lorry drivers more, well as we know, we know that Europe's a bit different when it comes to lorry driving and stuff like that, so there's some cool houses here as well. But because I've got you on the GoPro, I am going to cut you off there and just put it back on the time lapse, just because I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me clearly enough. Um, so I will put you on the phone once I stop and put the phone back on the map because I haven't actually had a chance to do that yet because we've been so busy. Um, but yeah, enjoy. So I've just listened back to it and you could actually hear me quite clearly uh, on the, on the uh, GoPro. So that wasn't so bad in the end. Um, just doing this bit of voiceover to just tell you guys that. Uh, but obviously we carried on down the road um, until we arrived at our collection. And just like that, we have arrived. Um, we've got to jump out quickly and do the barrier. Um, so basically, at this site, you have to put in all your details on the barrier uh, to tell them you're loading, when you're loading, uh, your reg, ev everything. And then you, uh, the barrier will go up, jump back in the lorry, and it's nice and simple over to the car or lorry parking area. I was going to say car parking then. And then um, park on the bay once you get called around and then you're a set. So guys, I just thought I'd give you a quick update um, as obviously I've been useless on this little journey because I've uh, obviously been doing my night shifts. Um, it's just coming up to half past eight uh, French time. Uh, we are backed on the bay and that's our red light over there. Um, and we waited. We're not booked in until nine o'clock. So we're winning so far. They're actually putting the pallets on now. A uh, bit confused whether I'm on the right bay. Uh, there was like, it was loads of um, letters, like A to J, and then numbers for bays after that. And then it was like B was on the right, and I was like B, but it said B2 and B1. And I was like, well, confused. But I found my bay number of 202, so I just landed it on the um, bay. Went in, maybe I asked my reference. I said my reference, and then he said, okay. 
and then I left my keys and come back and sat on the bay. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure if we're on the right place, but we'll find out. Uh, no one's said anything about paperwork or anything yet, so we'll find out that as well. But I've just noticed that this place is for sale, which would be kind of a cool little building down the back of an industrial estate to do whatever you wanted to do out of it, run a business or maybe a garage or something. But it's quite a big place, this. It's like right down massive industrial estate just for this one company, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we're just waiting to load and then we just put it in the sat nav to go back to the tunnel. Uh, we're going back on the Euro tunnel to um, the UK tonight. So if we get loaded in now, we're by about nine o'clock. We'll be there just before 11. Um, there's about a two hour delay or so currently at the tunnel. So we'll probably just end up going and join the queue, um, which sucks, but it's just the way it is. Uh, we started the shift obviously too early today, so we're not gonna be able to get to our delivery time tomorrow. Um, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm going to go there. Um, hopefully I can make the train to all the way to um, Stafford in one drive. It's about four hours and 20 minutes. So hopefully there's no road closures or any issues on that front. Um, if we can do that, then we will get there and hopefully they'll let us tip earlier on. I can't remember if I've left my GoPro on, but hopefully not because that'll be really annoying. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that and see how we get on there. Uh, currently now yeah like i say we're just waiting um so we'll see basically when we're on the road whether the paperwork's quick because we've got a gmr already but we're waiting obviously for an mrn from these guys and the cmr and all that sort of stuff it might make me write my own cmr out but i haven't written one yet because i don't want to write one out if i don't need it because it's just a waste of paper um and a lot of places you don't end up needing them when you're they're big establishments like this um, but yeah, so we're just going to sit tight here, see how we get on, and I shall catch you guys in a short while. And just like that, we're all loaded. I pulled up outside, waited for my paperwork for 15 minutes. Um, we've got paperwork, MRN, GMR, all the good stuff. Um, and now we're going to hit the road. Just completed my vehicle checks. Uh, obviously for the immigration side of things and migration and the migration of the migrants in my lorry um, all the good stuff like that so we've gone through the checklist uh, ticked everything off made sure everything was all good uh, put a seal on the back door uh, with the bloke so we're all set ready to go um, nice easy enough load really once you checked in at the gatehouse um basically waited in the car park had a text message to say what bay to go on had like went on the bay um yeah nice and simple loaded paperwork in the office within 15 minutes and then straight back to it so we are looking at the sat nav's not on so i can't actually tell you how long it's going to be all I can tell you is that it's quite warm. It was 20 degrees earlier on. I uh, saw a sign that said 21 degrees. Um, but yeah, I also found, if you're ever at that place, it's the place that makes the um, soya milk, Alpro, or Allpro, or whatever you want to call them. But um, yeah, if you're ever there, then there's toilets in the lorry park which are like portaloos and they're absolutely disgusting but if you go into the um office or into the security hut there's two options you can either go into the main office or the security hut and there is a shower and there is toilets there as well so that's like a double win as well um so i managed to get to go to the toilet there's a man that just flew out into the cycle lane I didn't even see him until the last minute because can't work out what's flickering in the sky. Is that lightning? Anyone else see that? That looks like lightning. That looks like it's going to rain today. Oh, let's clean my wheels. But yeah, well, fingers crossed that isn't rain because that would have been a pointless time cleaning my wheels. But no, my luck, it will be rain. Look at it. Can you see it all? Let me turn this headboard with this light on. 
Hey, look at the sky. That's insane. Unfortunately, we're not going that way. We're going. Whoa! That was mental. Did everyone see that fork? We're going this way. Is this taking us the way we want it to go, or is this taking us the boring way? I oh, know this is taking us the way we want it to go. Right, yeah, let's go and have a look at that storm then. Let's see what's going on there. Hopefully, we got that big lightning strike. I've never seen like a whole bit of lightning like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the GoPro on, um, and then I'm going to put the phone in the side window, and then hopefully we can get some clear footage. Let's put that on now. So the GoPro is on. So hopefully we can get some footage with the GoPro and then I'm just going to put the phone in the side window. But I don't know which way we're going to be facing. But yeah, we're basically heading out onto the motorway. Um, the sat nav should be taking us the coastal sort of route. Not Well, if cross country then into the coast. Um, but we'll have to see which way it's going to take us on a jolly. surprise it's a storm because it's 17 degrees so um, yeah the sky is just there. are we keeping left or keeping right we keep it right here yeah. just see the sky lighting up on the left hand side what's going on here now so why did we come on to come on i don't really understand that i don't know why we didn't just go the way we came down Hopefully we turn, we'll have to turn to go that way back towards the lightning because that's where the land of the boat is. It's pretty cool. Hopefully we can get some good footage. We're spinning up, we're basically going to do a loop up around this bridge and then when we do a loop up around this bridge then we'll be facing it again. It's like right on top of us now. slow down because it will probably be one of those complete and out of right hand turns. All of this stuff's like in plastic trays so it's like definitely taking it steady on the drive. Um, as excited as me i don't know everyone's seen lightning before but i just think it's better when you're actually driving into it it's like driving into a full storm there you go it's already flashing away
never seen like this. Like this. Always give it 100, don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing, I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find And just like that, we we're back at the train. So less than 24 hours later, we delivered in France and collected in Belgium with a nine hour off and got the trailer washed. It's been a busy, busy old last couple of shifts. Um, now we have to wait for this is the first booth at the train. If you've seen any of my other videos, you would know this. Um, this is the GMR and MRN station or Carnets if you've got any basically customs information stuff you need to sort um, this is the French side of bits um, so that's where that gets sorted um, and then you watch everyone wacky races all the way up and around um, as you would have just seen on the right hand side there um, once we get cleared then we get our go um, and then we'll be shooting around to the next booth which is us off we were at the front this mate boy on the right flew past um, and then we joined the queue, basically. Um, it was pretty busy, and there was one lane open for the French passport, which is always annoying because it literally takes forever. Um, but, again, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, if they're not working, they... That it's one of them they're never working when you come through from the uk side like you'd seen um earlier on in the video but this time they're normally working but there's always normally like one guy working so it takes obviously forever so when you pull up to the booth they take the one guy takes the passport carries it over to the room where the other person looks at it and stamps it but there's no cameras or anything they, the other guy can't actually see your face so i don't really understand that but um yeah obviously we were here for quite a while because then that queue then led on to the one person that was working in the british passport which didn't make any sense in my opinion because there was like four people in the office but only one booth open so it could have been easily done that they'd had the other side open so there was two people flowing but i don't know whether they do it so that it prevents like a backup in the lanes like by the train but then also they've got loads of lanes so it wouldn't really make any sense but yeah this lane here is where you get the booth uh, lane number and then we're right in the lane so guys we are about half an hour in um to waiting in the queue and then we are on well loading onto the train now um i'm just watching what everyone else is doing because normally you've got a bit more of a run up than this whereas this is quite a tight tight to the wall on the left i've never loaded on to the train on this one so i'll have to see what happens in just a second i'll put you on the gopro because um you're in the middle of the lorry then rather than just off to one side oh maybe i hit the cone oh, professional 
it's all about getting close to the tent and then you won't hear. What a nice guy. Now I've got to make sure I don't oh, I'll run it over as well. unit on. Oh, I was going to move the GoPro for you guys, wasn't I, and put it on the back. Completely forgot. Blame the missus, she was distracting me. Right, we are on. Shut the window because uh, it's cold. Ever since that storm, it dropped like four or five degrees, and now it's freezing. I mean, it's not freezing, it's still 13 degrees, but still. So I think we've got, uh, supposedly, some of these carriages are slightly wider than the other ones. And I think this one might be one of the ones that's slightly wider. But still, it's not wide. I think it's just wide enough for a lorry, basically. But you've got to be... I've got to be careful now, because I put my lights on the bumper. And I put them on the bottom of the bumper, because I'm really smart. Um, so that they are like the closest thing that's going to hit first to the train. to remember to count how many people are in front of us that's how I normally do it count when we get on the bus find our lorry after we drive back up and then count how many people are in front so we know when we're getting off but just a reminder to anyone who's doing the fridge work remember you've got to turn your fridge off and um, when you're on And that is us on. Put it on brake and then we will get off and go and sit in the sweaty train. Just like that, we are back in the UK. I was a little bit close to the left hand side and I nearly got my light so I'm just going to keep keep to the right a bit more on the way off now uh, basically where the wheel is it was like the light just about nearly touched the curb so we'll just take it steady and um, last thing I want to do is do any damage um, but it just shows how easy that is because obviously the wheel was ever so slightly turned to the left um, and that obviously meant that we were too close so that meant that we nearly lost the light I should have put them a bit higher up but um, yeah we see we survived hopefully um, normally as soon as I stop I, once we get off and I get to the first place I stop I normally go over the whole lorry and check um, for any damage because it's the last thing I want but yeah so we're off the train um, and now we've got four hours and a bit to get to Stafford um, so we'll head up to Stafford and then I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to deliver this uh, or we might have to have a break to deliver it a little bit later on or someone else might have to deliver it I'm not, sure. I'm not too sure we'll have to see how we get on um, but it's just one of those things just the way the cookie crumbles as they say um, but for now we'll just head out all the way around the port port? I keep We've done boats so much recently that I keep thinking everything's a port, but obviously it's not a port. I'm trying to work out whether this, um, if the, we're actually going to make it. It says 4 hours and 28 minutes, and we've got 4 hours and 28 minutes. So I wonder if we'll actually be able to make it or not. I've decided to take all of the lanes around this corner. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can make it within one hit, so we don't have to have a 45 minute break because um, I'd rather just get parked up and get to sleep to be honest um, but for now we'll join back to the motorway and um, yeah head to our delivery 
Right, so I shall catch you guys in a bit when we get to the delivery. Um, because obviously it's going to be dark now the whole way up. I'm probably going to end up getting stuck in loads of traffic and what should I say, roadworks or something along those lines. This guy's not doing four mile an hour, is he? He's flat out. He doesn't care. We're back in the UK now. So, uh, he doesn't care. Obviously, yeah, he's gone. But yeah, anyway, so I will catch you guys in a short while. So I'm very unprepared for this video, but look how dodgy this load looks. Look at the back, like the full thing is leaning over. I don't think it's meant to be leaning over, I'm guessing it's meant to be stood up like the rest of them. He doesn't care, he's not bothered in the slightest. Um, so like I say, yeah, I'm prepared, I haven't even put the mic in, just saw that load and I thought, oh, I'll jump on and give them guys an update. So, um, we've had just over 10 hours off, um, and I know exactly what we've had off because I forgot to put it on break. Um, so now I have no driving hours, no working time, everything's angry with me, the dashboard's not telling me anything, the taco's shouting at me. Uh, it's one of those rookie errors, probably done it about three or four times in six years. But obviously last night I didn't park until half past five in the morning. Uh, I've done literally a 14 hour and 37 minute day. So it's been a long night. Um, we've obviously come from France to Belgium, loaded Belgium and then gone all the way down up, up to Stafford, tip Stafford and then managed to park up. So yeah, so I was tired, so I forgot to, completely forgot to uh, switch it over. In my defense, I did actually press the button. It just obviously didn't do what I wanted to do. I reckon it went past it, came back on top of work. Uh, but printout's been done, written on the back, explaining what's happened. It's easily done. Um, I'm sure that they would understand in regards to, they can see what I've done, they can see I've worked, then I've sat on other work. Um, but yeah, so we are heading back down south. Um, we're heading to Redditch again uh, to real, well, to load out of Redditch um, for Livingston in Bathgate and Bathgate and that again. Um, however, I will be swapping. I'll be coming back up to Stafford, swapping trailers with a colleague. Um, he'll be taking it through the night. Um, and then I'll be parking up with his trailer and then I'll be reloading out on load in Stafford in the morning for 8 o'clock. Um, this guy is moving over. Um, yeah, so we're basically, um, yeah, we're just going to be local-ish to the UK for the next few days because apparently we're going home at the weekend. Because uh, the work, like I say, is it's very hit and miss at the moment. Um, so I've been told now that potentially I'm going home, uh, so I'm just going to do some localish work. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, be interested to see what happens there. But yeah, um, gonna have to 
house just moves around like mental on the other side so what we'll do is we'll move right over to the hard shoulder we'll do that and then hopefully this lane will flow because normally this is the best lane i've worked out uh, unless you get stuck do not go up and over at junction 10 because it takes ages because of the roadworks on the roundabout but yeah right guys so i will sit in this for many moons now um, and then i will catch you guys once we get to redditch so guys you join me from back in the old redditch um we are waiting to get loaded unfortunately there's been a massive miscommunication and it was meant to be a load and go tonight but they said it's a load and go at one o'clock tomorrow morning however that's no good to me because i can't do that and also i'm stopping the trailer like i said earlier on with one of my colleagues so we're gonna have to see what's happening and they said all the pallets are ready to go they just need to um do a shift change and then once they've done a shift change we should be able to get loaded and be on the way but he said he doesn't know how long that's going to take um to actually obviously get the pallets out and down i've already been here for like 40 minutes so we could be here for a lot longer which is annoying but i suppose it's one of those situations uh, all i've got to do after this is run an hour and a half back up to stafford uh, and then drop the trailer there and then um, my colleague was getting it so for him it's a bit more annoying because obviously he's going to be holding out even longer and longer now um but for yeah for these guys at least they're going to load me today rather than wait until tomorrow because that would have obviously put a lot more spanners into work but for now i'm just chilling out watching tv um yeah nothing really exciting to report same old place here these guys have just smart 500s all the side skirts all painted side bits and bobs oh you guys can't actually see it there you go, have a little side angle but yeah um so basically i'll probably just jump back to you when we're out getting on the bay hey there guys that is it just been in the office dropped the keys off um, it's absolutely freezing it's definitely not the same as this time yesterday when i was in belgium and it was 21 degrees um it's windy it's cold as everyone will be aware that the weather isn't very good in the uk at the moment um, i'm just going to spin the camera around and you'll be able to see the truck so there she is the wheels are still actually kind of clean uh, not as clean as we had them last night but uh yeah they're getting a slight a bit on the wonk but yeah we're on the bay oh, that's still not good don't want a green light we wanted a red light but yeah we're in just gonna carry on watching tv basically this is going to put me back for tomorrow now because obviously it's took so long to get loaded but it's just all the fun and games shall catch you guys when we are loaded and on the road here we are guys it seems to be that we're always here and it's always night time um we've got all the paperwork we've got the goods uh we've got keys back so we're literally just gonna pull off the bay uh, check that the load's all good might have to put some load bars in because mate boy was just saying about how he's had to split some of the pallets down uh due to them being obviously really tall compared to the other ones around it which is decent of him because most people would have just put them on and not bothered but yeah they've split the pallets down so therefore um it's now going to be actually all level supposedly and we can go and have a look yeah, we'll just pull forward a little bit taco shouting again because obviously we haven't uh, had our break I mean we have had our break should I say before anyone kicks off and saying you should have had your break we definitely had our breaks but it's uh, obviously didn't find the taco on did I so I also don't know if this is going, you're going to be able to hear me because we've um dirty wheels again not as dirty as the trailer there uh yeah because i've got i've got my airpod in i don't know if that makes any difference what have we got there oh just a quick one because not really going to show you but that's what we got so what we do is we'll just get some bars put them in and then we'll be set to go so i should catch you on the road ah, just like that only 
Depot. What time did we get here? Five o'clock. And it's now nine o'clock, so only four hours later um, to do that, to collect some load that wasn't even a full load. But then also, they didn't expect us. Um, so, at least we got loaded, that's the main thing. Like, it could have been that they wouldn't have loaded us. There's no guy in this, there's no guy in this gatehouse. I don't really understand it, because he's got a little light and stuff. I've never seen him in there before. And he was in there earlier on there. But, I don't know, anyway. So we've got to turn left out of here, even though the sound lab always says turn right. And it always tries to bring us in this way, so it obviously doesn't know that that road's not uh, lorry friendly. Um, but it goes basically cuts past people's houses, so obviously they don't want to go past people's houses. But yeah, we're all a sec and all ready to go. Um, we're just going to hit the road, like I say. Probably not going to be able to see a lot again because we're on the. Uh, we're literally only driving for an hour and six minutes anyway. But if I remember, we'll bang it on when we get to um, Thingy. Um, over to actually, no, I won't do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this will be the last bit. Um, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, what I'll do is I'll cut this video short here. So we would have just done the last few days on this video. Um, and then I'll start fresh tomorrow, like I said earlier on. Um, on the bits and bobs we're going to be doing well just as uh, UK side of things rather than over the continent and stuff so um, yeah it's a nice video as well but yeah what we're going to do is like I say leave you there and uh, I shall catch you in the next video thank you very much for watching and uh, see you later on cheers so guys we've just arrived at the uh industrial estate where we are meeting our colleague sammy uh he should be here any second now oh here he is the man the myth the legend look at that what a motor well what i'm going to do now is just quickly swap trailers with him i'm going to park up just in front here and he um is going to head on up through the night here he is, he's off. Do some work while we go to sleep. Cheerio. All right, let's get to bed.